Hi everyone, quick introduction before I start this video. It's around... Alexa, what time is it? It's 11.21 a.m. Okay, so it's around 11.21 a.m. and I'm just getting ready to go out, run some errands. My mom is visiting for the weekend, but she had to go to work and she's gonna come back in like three, four hours maybe. So I wanted to run as many errands as I can while she's still out and then we can probably go to the park or take a walk or something. We're trying to spend some quality mother-daughter time. So yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna head out. So right now I'm pretty much done. I did just fill out my eyebrows, put a little bit of foundation. Um, I'm trying out for the first time a ColourPop product. I really like how nude and still shiny and cute the color is. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a rosy color with a lot of shimmery in it and it has like a hint of gold. I think the color is Party of Five. I don't know if you guys have tried it, but I mean, they have a bunch of products currently at Ulta. And other than that, I also am wearing, I don't know what, I, oh, I'm wearing this lipstick. It's the Charlotte Tilde Bear. Tilbury, I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right, but it's stone rose and I always thought I wouldn't like this kind of colors like very Rosy girly nude type of colors, but I actually really like it I don't know why I never tried colors like this before I always go with red or burgundy or very strong colors Because I rather put a very strong color to make like a statement with my makeup rather than eyeshadows It's a little bit easier to apply, but yeah, I'm really liking this color. I've worn it already for times and I only got it two weeks ago so now I'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna head out so I'm pretty much ready all I have to do is just get out of the house and start my day but I wanted to show you my outfit really quick before I head out so here's the outfit I just have a orange tank top and a see-through blouse with a lot of sparkles a light wash jean and a pair of sneakers with a platform. I also put like a little clip on my hair. I cut my hair not that long ago and I'm still trying to get used to it. I did it myself, so I think I made a lot of errors. So I'm not an expert at all, but it is what it is. Just gonna head out. The only things that I usually grab when I'm heading out are my phone, which I usually use when I'm getting ready to watch YouTube videos and then the lipstick that I'm wearing for the day. So since my mom is home, we're making some beans and if you've made beans from scratch before, you know that they take forever. So I'm probably just gonna turn it off and I mean they're pretty much done but we like to make them until they're very, almost like a paste like. I would say it needs like 20 more minutes. My mom actually called me on her way to work because she was worried that I was going to forget about the beans. And if you're from a Hispanic family, you know that moms, kids, and beans, they don't mix. So when I was a kid, I burned the beans many, many times because she would just leave the stove on and my only job was to move the beans around while they were cooking and then turn it off after 20 minutes or 25 minutes. And I would always forget because it takes so long for them to make that you forget about it. So yeah, I burned the beans so many times. So even today that I'm not a kid, I'm 30 years old, she's still calling me to remind me, hey, don't forget to turn off the beans. But this time, it helps a lot to have the Alexa now, which we have over there by the computer. But sometimes Alexa doesn't listen to me. I don't know if it's because I have an accent and she doesn't recognize accents. But anyways, let's head out.
Hi guys, so I'm back from the library. I mean, nothing exciting happened there. I just returned the books. I tried to film a little bit, but I think I'm still a little bit shy about doing that. So I didn't really film that much. I stayed there for a little bit trying to do a to-do list just for the things that I want to finish today while I'm outside the apartment. Um, I tried to do those kind of lists when I'm still at the apartment, but I didn't have time today. So I decided to just finish it there. I really like the atmosphere of libraries when it comes to doing work or staying out of the chaos of daily life. It always has a very calming effect on me. So I like to sometimes just stay there and do some work. I didn't get any books because I didn't really finish any of the books that I took out this time around. I think I've been too busy with work and other stuff, but I definitely wanna keep reading. What I'm gonna do is try to finish the books that I already have at home. And once I'm done with those, I'm gonna donate them and then I'll probably start getting more books from here. So that's the plan for now. Um, so right now I'm gonna go to Ulta. That's the next thing on my to-do list. And then I'm gonna go to Daiso. I wanna get a couple of things for the kitchen. So yeah, we're gonna head there and then we'll see how the rest of the day goes. So I'm back. I just finished at Ulta in Sprout. At Ulta, I mainly came because I wanted to see the ColourPop and MAC Collection products. But I guess this location doesn't really carry any of them besides a couple of limited items from their collection. So I still got two things, actually three things. I'm gonna blame this on working for a makeup company, but I think it's actually really important you know what's out there so I grab the Juvia's Place palette pretty sure if you watch a lot of tutorials and YouTube you probably noticed that a lot of people have been wearing these I tested some of the shadows in my hand and they look really good very pigmented and the texture was good I also bought this yeah, L'Oreal mascara it's supposed to be waterproof um, and it's also the Lash Paradise I've heard from this line within l'oreal of mascaras and i've heard good things so i want to try it out because the two mascaras that i currently have they're not really working for me so i'm trying to find a cheaper alternative and i also grabbed this ysl perfume i'm trying to find a perfume and scent that i like a lot for special occasions so my total for ulta was 71.77 so i'm gonna try to call another ulta within my area to see if there's any other one that does carry the colourpop collection I know for sure Burbank does. I just don't know where else I would be able to find that collection. I really want to see the brands. I never tested Colourpop. Colourpop is mainly an online brand, so I really want to like try it out for myself. So at Sprout, I bought a couple more things than an Ulta. I was just going to buy um, cilantro and lime, but then I also got some jalapeno chips these are really good um i don't buy them that often but dennis does dennis my fiance does and it's really good i really like it i just don't usually find it where i go to buy things um, i also got some granola bars it's called made good strawberry minis so we'll see how they taste if i don't i actually mainly was attracted by the packaging because it's really cute but yeah like i mean the most important thing is for them to taste good so i'll give them a go today and if they're good maybe i'm gonna buy some more later on i got some cilantro as well some serrano pepper i also got the limes that i intended to go in for an avocado so we can make some avocado toast tomorrow which reminds me i need to buy some toast i'm just gonna get a food for less near where i live and then for just right now i bought a power bar because i'm really i don't know why i'm really hungry because i did eat breakfast but it's already 1 30 so maybe it's just me my stomach asking me for lunch but i'm probably not gonna have any lunch until my mom gets home and then we'll probably grab some snacks or dinner then like i mentioned earlier i want to go to daiso but i'm first gonna go to target i want to get some sparkling water and also an arizona water if i can other than that i think that should be it but we'll see we'll see how the day goes so let's drive over there to target mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
Okay guys, so I just got out from Target, World Market, went to Daiso and Michael's. And so I'm gonna go back home now. I was gonna go to another Ulta to see if they had the color pop line. Um, just because I wanted to swatch some of the colors at least. But I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. My mom's already on her way, so I wanna be home before she gets back. So hopefully I'm gonna film a little bit more over there, but if not, I'll for sure do an outro at the end of the day. So see you once I get home. Bye. I just got back home. Um, I put all of my things on the floor. I probably have to sort through them as to like what I need to keep in the house or what stuff I bought as far as like to stay in the car, that sort of thing. Um, the house still smells a lot like fish because I don't know if I said but my mom made fried fish and salad and rice last night for dinner and we had leftovers so we warmed it up this morning. I think the smell of fish, especially if you cook it um, at home, it lingers for a while. So I'm gonna open the windows, light up a candle, and then my mom should be here pretty soon. So I have that candle going right now. Here are all the things that I need to sort through. And the beans. This is the state of the beans that I left. I think it needs to cook just a little bit more. And usually at this point, we'll just make it into low heat so that it can cook evenly. We're probably going to make some rice. Like I mentioned, probably the salad that we need to, um, to make. I'm going to light this up. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna sort through the things that I purchased. Sorry guys, while I was filming the video, actually my mom got home, so I had to go open the door. And I've never filmed in front of my mom, so it's a little bit awkward. But I told her if she could go to my bedroom, even though there's no door, so... But she's still gonna like watch a video or something. But anyways, so like I was saying, this is another thing I bought. I've been wanting to buy some organization type of boxes to go underneath where my TV is. I'll probably show you guys before the end of the video how I'm picturing this going. I just want to put any cables or anything that looks a little bit messy right now that we can store here underneath the table. And I kind of like that it has a blackboard so that you can label it uh, however you want. And the other thing I got is this little basket. This I got from Michaels. The main reason why I bought this is not for anything that I need in the house, but it's just for, I wanna do like some sort of photo shoot tomorrow, like I was saying. So I bought a bunch of flowers and these are gonna just go in the basket. We'll see how that goes. I'm not really sure how that's gonna turn out, but since my mom is here, I was thinking maybe she can help me take the pictures. And then I died, so I got this little blackboard. I have a similar one in my fridge. That one is for groceries or little things that we have to buy for the house. And this is more, I wanna use it for my videos so I can put it like behind me and just put the theme of the video for the day. I bought this to dust off pretty much everything in the house. I didn't like the color that much, but this is all they had, so I just grabbed one of them. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be very useful because I've been in other places and they have these sort of dusters and they get super dirty super fast. So I don't know, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but for right now, I think this is like the best thing I can do because everything here gets so dusty. So I think it's gonna at least help. I also got some slippers. I mean, these are like guest slippers, I guess, but I'm gonna give them to my mom. Since she visits a lot, I want her to wear these when she's home so that she doesn't have to be barefoot because we try not to wear our shoes in the house so it doesn't get dirty as fast. I also got an agenda. This I'm gonna keep at home because it's so big. I want it to be an agenda for my personal projects and things that I want to do at home. It's not going to be a home binder because I have a separate one for that, but for this one, I want this to be like a personal projects type of notebook binder. So this one got it at Michael's and I think it's going to be very helpful. I, I really like the style so far. 
and at world market i got this little pink drink i thought it was super cute and it looks very vintage i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it actually i will i'm j I, i'm gonna try it i'm gonna see if i like it i wanted to get two so it's got one for me one for my mom for tomorrow but they didn't have another one so i just grabbed this one and i also got one of these face rollers i hear that this is actually very helpful for your face i've never tried this so i'm gonna give it a go tomorrow here are some of the rest of the flowers that i got from michael's and maybe this gives you like a better idea of what i want to do but it's like bigger flowers i don't know i think it's gonna look cute but we'll see i also got a little mini fake plant my mom was making fun of me because she says that i should get real plants but I like these because they never die and I'm not that good at taking care of them. I also got some bath salts. I got a bar of soap. I opened it already because I, re I wanted to smell it. And I think it smells like a spa. So it's, this is exactly what I was looking for. When I went on a work trip two weeks ago, I really liked the soap that they had at the hotel. I wanted to buy it, but just one soap was, I think it was like $35 on Amazon. So that's a little bit too steep for just a bar of soap. This one was only $9.99, so it's not as bad. It's still a little steep, but not as bad. I also got this multi-use oil. It smells really good. I don't know if it's intended to be in... I have like a little diffuser, and I usually put oils there. I don't know if this is exactly for that, but I really like the smell. So if anything, I'm just gonna use it for my hands because they get dry very fast. I also got this. This is like a scrub for your like body or lips. I think I want to keep it for my lips mainly and maybe for my hands or my um, elbows when it gets really dry. And I really like that it comes with a little spoon. I also got a lipstick from World Market. I, I really like the color um, so I just wanted to try it. It says it's vegan it doesn't say the brand maybe it says it on the receipt but i want to give it a go and i also got this small tote bag i really like it i like the colors they had a dog one because this is a kitty one but i like the color combination on this one a little bit better so i just got this one i think that's all i got oh i got like a small broom we have mainly carpet in the apartment so the bare floors that we have is just the kitchen and the bathroom and they're both very small surfaces so i didn't want to get a big room because we don't even have the space for that i got some chalk so that i can write on the chalkboard that i have here i got um, a little wooden spoon some blackboard stickers this is gonna be mainly for the food containers that i have one of these things i think it's a funnel yeah it's probably a funnel i got two spatulas so a rice paddle and a spatula oh, they're both made out of wood i already have similar ones but i burned them when i was cooking and then another chalk writer this i like this better than the regular chalk because they are more precise when you are writing on it they're more precise when you're writing with it than if you're just using a regular chalk. I also got a tiny agenda. This is gonna be mainly to keep in my purse. I'm not sure. I really have to think about it, like how I wanna use it. But anyways, um, I think that's it. I don't think I got anything else. Oh, and I got some of these. This is not like a purchase. I just grab a couple for my mom and me. This is for like when you put your night cream at the end of the day. Uh, you don't have to put your hand inside the cream you just like grab it with a little spoon so it's a little bit more hygienic so for now i'm gonna put all of this away and then once i'm done with that probably me and my mom are gonna have dinner we're gonna like finish making food and i wanna go out with my mom like maybe for a drink or something but that's gonna be once it gets dark <laughs> Oh, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, Jimmy Choo? Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Mira, esto es lo que mañana quería ver. Oh, yeah. Así. Oh, yeah. So here's what I was talking about. There are, here are the boxes that I bought. So I wanted to put them underneath the TV. But I don't know if they look, they look a little bit weird. So I'm probably going to just return them. 
I'm gonna see if they have something similar to the dark wood that we have on the TV stand already and if not I don't know I do like the height and the depth it's just that the color doesn't seem to match I also finished my basket with the flowers so it looks something like this I'm probably gonna try to find something to go underneath the flower so that it holds it up but I think I like this this I like how it ended up being I mean I don't know what I'm gonna do with after I'm done with the picture but I like how it looks so far and then I'm watching a typical season 3 I really like the show it's super cute I like all kinds of family shows and my mom is cooking right now she's making rice and beans and I'm just chilling here for a little bit here is the food A lot of food, rice, beans, egg, and salad. Mira, me depilé un poco la axila. Ma! ¿Te afeitaste o te depilaste? Me depilé. Años que no me la afeitaba. Mi mamá. Hey guys, so I'm about to leave with my mom. Um, we're gonna call an Uber right now, but I wanted to do a quick outfit check before we leave. I'm just wearing a dress. Um, Actually, let me change mirrors. Okay, so you can see a little bit better here. I'm just wearing a, a dress with a see-through layer on top, a belt, my jean jacket, and these new shoes that I got from Zara. I really like them. This is the first time I'm gonna wear them. And yeah, um, we're gonna go to a bar not too far from the apartment, so we're gonna take an Uber just in case. I don't think we're gonna actually get drunk, but I don't wanna I don't wanna risk anything. Plus I don't like driving at night. We'll I'll take a quick um I'll probably film a little bit at the bar, not that much, because I do wanna talk to my mom of course. But yeah, I'll see you over there. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, so I wanted to do a quick outro on my latest day in my life video. The last footage I have is with me and my mom at the bar. Nothing much really happened there. We stayed there for about an hour, an hour and a half more. We were talking, we had maybe three drinks each. It wasn't really anything crazy, but we had a lot of time to reminisce about the past, about some problems that we've both been having in our personal lives. My mom has really been going through a lot of stuff, so I'm very glad that I'm able to be there for her and to take her out and maybe talk through things. Sometimes talking really does take your mind out of things and at least you have the opportunity to let it all out. I love my mom very, very much and I'm very blessed to have her live close enough to me where we can still go out every now and then and share some one-on-one -on -one moments. I'm actually filming this outro video weeks after that original day in my life footage was filmed. So as you can see, I'm already using some of the things that I purchased that day. This is the little board that I got from Daiso where I'm gonna be writing the theme of the video of the day that I'm filming. As well as this little basket with some fake flowers that I got from Michaels. Unfortunately, we didn't have the time to go to the park the day after to do the photo shoot that I wanted to with this basket. But I still kept it because I like it and I think eventually I am going to go to the park and do the photo shoot that I wanted to. Other than that, thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. And remember to enjoy all of the smallest things in life. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!